Hi, I'm Ryan Steele. I'm Camden Carswell. And I'm Emma Bauer. And our experiment is the effect of UV light on the growth and regeneration of planaria. The objective of our experiment is to determine the effects of UV lights on planarian regeneration. We are curious as to what effects UV light has on the regeneration of planaria. In the past, we have tested statins, which are cholesterol-lowering medication, and DEET on planaria, but these experiments did not have conclusive results. Now we are continu continuing our research in order to connect the effects of UV light on the regeneration of planaria. Studies have shown that UV lights may have harmful effects on skin cells and skin regeneration. Some cases may lead to cancer. We will use three different UV lights of varying wavelengths to determine the magnitude to which UV lights may negatively impact regeneration. By using planaria, we can determine whether or not different lights are irritants to human skin and its ability to repair and regenerate new cells. Planaria are invertebrate organisms that, when split, create buds which can develop into independent individuals. Because of the planaria's ability to regenerate, they are often used in scientific experimentation when studying regeneration. Um, our research, some of our research questions that we are intending to answer through our experiment are what is the extent, um, or to what extent does UV radiation affect the regeneration of planaria? If not regeneration, then what other effects does this light have on the planaria? Um, do different types of UV radiation have different effects on the planaria? And do the planaria grow at different rates due to the different light settings, um, the natural light versus the UV radiation? And how can these results be linked to cancer research? And does this change or lack of change in planarian behavior or regeneration, um, can it be connected to the growth of malignant tumors? So the procedure we will be using in this experiment is we are going to divide our planaria into three groups. Each group of planaria will contain approximately 20 planaria. These groups will be labeled A, B, and C. Each group will receive a different treatment in order to thoroughly examine the effects of the UV light and then eliminate confounding variables. Group A will be exposed to UV light for eight weeks. Group B will be exposed to natural light within a classroom setting. Group C will be exposed to no light for eight weeks. Group C will remain in a dark cardboard box for eight weeks. There will be minimal light exposure. Opening the box and feeding these planaria will also be done in the darkness. For group A, the UV light will be positioned in a similar but separate cardboard box. This cardboard box will be completely dark, meaning the only light affecting the planaria is the UV. Within each group, A, B, and C, we will have a subset of two groups. One group of the planaria will be cut in half, monitored over the course of eight weeks, and the other will not be cut in half, but still monitored over the course of the eight weeks. Set one for each group will be cut in half in the first, in the first of the eight weeks, while set two of each group will never be cut. This will allow us to monitor both regular growth and regeneration growth in the light settings. The planaria will be monitored and measured weekly upon their weekly feedings. For the goals of our research, um, we hope to generate conclusive and tangible results as to the true effect of UV radiation as well as natural light on the regeneration or behavior of planaria. We hope to connect our findings to the cause of skin cancer, linking the regeneration of planaria to the growth of malignant tumors. For our expected outcomes, we expect that the planaria may potentially show increased growth due to exposure to the um, UV light. This can be fathomed due to the fact that UV radiation is known to cause skin cancer. If this were to be the case, this would show the direct link between continued exposure to UV radiation and the growth of skin cancer tumors. It is highly likely that there will also be no effect um, from the different light settings on the regeneration of the planaria. This outcome could mean that we did not expose the planaria to UV light for a long enough, for a long enough period or at a high enough intensity for there to be visible results. This could also mean that UV light does not actually have an effect on planarian regeneration. Right. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You.